I feel like finding the right pair of jeans, especially for a good price, can be kind of difficult. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to be helping you with. I'm going to be showing you the five best places to pick up a good pair of jeans for an affordable price. But before I get into the actual list, I do want to let you know that today's video sponsor is going to be Karma. If you don't know what Karma is, Karma is a free app or Chrome extension that you can download. So that way you can save a ton of money and time when you're shopping for clothes online. Which is perfect because while I'm showing you all these jeans that you can pick up for a good price, Karma can definitely help you make them even more affordable. All right, so the first place on the list that I'm going to tell you where I love picking up my jeans is going to be Hollister. And the reason why I like them so much is because Hollister, they always have sales where you can pick up their jeans for around 25 $5. Now this is honestly as good as it gets when it comes to jeans. $25 for one pair of jeans is honestly perfect. Can't really go wrong with it. So that's why I recommend them so much. Of course, they're not going to be as high quality as other ones on the list, but if you're just starting out and you need a really solid pair of jeans for $25, you can't go wrong with Hollister. The only thing I would say about Hollister jeans is they're not really as thick. So if the weather's kind of cold outside and you need a really good pair of denim jeans, I really wouldn't suggest Hollister as much. But, but for any other type of season where it's kind of warm outside, Hollister is definitely a good place. The second place I love picking up my jeans is going to be from ASOS. Now ASOS definitely has a variety of different jeans on their website because they're a retailer for plenty of different brands. But again, ASOS is another place where there's gonna be a ton of sales going on. So you can pick up jeans for a really solid price. I've seen them for as low as $25, again, like Hollister. I would say on average it's about $30 or $40, depending on which brand that you get from ASOS. But let's just meet in the middle and say jeans are gonna be around $35 when you shop at ASOS. And again, there's always gonna be sales on ASOS so you can pick them up for an even better price. So that's why you should definitely be on the lookout for these sales. But something to make it a little bit easier is going to be today's video sponsor, Karma, like I mentioned earlier, because any other type of brand out there if you get them for regular price it can be too expensive but that's exactly what karma can help you with like i said it's a free app or chrome extension that you can install to make sure that you're always going to be saving money because i always say that there's plenty of ways to get out of paying retail price and karma is going to be a really big help with that or another thing that's very annoying that always frustrates me is when something is out of stock but karma always helps me out because they notify me when any brands out there have restock on any items that i've saved in the past also if you save an item through karma karma will notify you when it goes on sale or has a coupon code there are so many pieces of my wardrobe that I picked up using Karma, so they've helped me out a ton in the past. And they could definitely do the same for you if you download the free app. I personally also really recommend the Chrome extension when you shop online, because one thing that is exclusive to the Chrome extension is going to be when you shop online, Karma will instantly scan any coupon codes out there to make sure that you're getting the best price available. So for example, if we go to ASOS and we find a nice pair of jeans, instead of paying the price that they show us, what we could do is we could use Karma to scan any coupon codes out there, and that way we can get it discounted even more. Another one of my favorite features is going to be Karma Cash. So basically when you shop through select retailers, you're able to get cash back on your favorite stores. The link's gonna be in the description so that way you can install it today for free. All right, the next place that I really recommend picking up jeans is going to be Zara. Honestly, I just recently started picking up jeans from Zara and ever since then, I've been a really big fan of it. Now Zara jeans will retail you anywhere between 40 to $50, depending on which types of jeans that you get. But honestly, I feel like that's not really a bad price. So again, these are a little bit more expensive than the other ones that I mentioned earlier, but the quality is definitely a little bit better. Now again, for the price tag of $50, it's not bad. I would definitely consider this a pretty decent middle ground for a good pair of jeans because of course $25 is a good option, but if you want a bit higher quality jeans, you can go for that price range because anything over $100, there is zero chance that I'm spending on one pair of jeans. I think the very most would be $80, but we're gonna get to that later on. Another really good place to pick up jeans is going to be American Eagle. Now these jeans range about $50 to $60, but again, that's not a really bad price. I think American Eagle is definitely one of the highest quality places that I picked up my jeans from. They're definitely top three for sure. And again, for that little bit extra money, you're definitely getting what you pay for. I'm a really big fan of their jeans, so I definitely recommend them, especially if you've never tried them out before. The final place that I'm going to talk about is going to be the very most expensive one on the list, but the quality is definitely there in my opinion, and that is going to be Express. Now, I picked up a few pairs of jeans from Express, and let me tell you, those jeans have been my go-to ones in my wardrobe. I think the fit is perfect on these jeans. The black jeans that I picked up from Express, they're going to be more of a slimmer fit. These are definitely going to be my favorite. Just in general, slim black jeans go with literally anything so that's why I wear them so much. I have a pair of slim black jeans from Hollister. I have another one from Zara. But out of all of them, the Express ones is gonna be the one that I wear the most. And that's because I feel like they're the highest quality. Again, they are the most expensive, but in my opinion, you're gonna be getting what you pay for. Anyways, real quick, I did want to give a few honorable mentions just because five, I felt like wasn't enough options, but the first one I'm going to be talking about is going to be Paxton because this one I used to shop at a lot, but not so much anymore. But nonetheless, the jeans are really good. Next one is going to be RSQ, which is a brand that I've never heard of before until one day I randomly came across into Zoomies and I ended up picking up this pair, which I ended up really liking. I'm a really big fan of the fit. It's called Relax Taper, but this next brand is going to be Deep Heart West, which again, never heard of up until I picked it up from Buckle, but I'm a really big 
kind of the fit and the color. So again, just a random brand I've never heard of, but I really do recommend. So if you've never tried them out, I definitely recommend that you should. Again, for the most part, I definitely recommend sticking to more affordable jeans, but if you do want to invest that extra money like I mentioned earlier, you should definitely do that with a pair of jeans because a pair of good quality jeans will last you for a very long time. I had a pair of American Eagle jeans that have lasted me pretty much two and a half years at this point, so it is a pretty good option. Especially if you're used to like mostly spending $20, $25 on one pair of jeans. If you kind of take that leap and spend a little bit more money on a pair of more expensive jeans, I promise you, you are gonna like it. Of course, this is just my personal preference. There's plenty of other brands of jeans out there, but these are definitely my go-to ones. And a little disclaimer, some of these brands I have worked with in the past, but this video is not sponsored, so this is my honest opinion. I know some people will look at this list and be like, oh, he used to work with these brands, so that's the only reason why I say this. No, I genuinely recommend these brands so again just kind of make your own personal decision if you want to listen to my list or not whether you do or whether you don't I did hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like I'd really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed already in this channel I simplify men's fashion so I'm gonna leave a button for you to do that right here and if you want to see more videos right away here are a few that I think could really help you out but anyways other than that I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video Bye.